What it do, how it be, what it is, it is me, Petrov, motherfucker, how is you today, fuck y'all, anyway, what up with it though, whoo, I was running with the flow of it, you know what I'm saying, man, it is what it is, says Shabiz, you know what I'm saying, uh, how y'all doing, man, it's 100, you know the deal, uh, shit, you already know, we're gonna get into, we'll get into some funky shit, we're gonna talk about some funky shit, I'm gonna try to make y'all laugh, I'm gonna try to make y'all think, yeah, what y'all smoking on, man, I got some of that Mr. Nice Guy, I know I got some kind of kush, so, mixing them two motherfuckers together, it's like a 1970s bush, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying, you know that moment, you go to light your joint, but you accidentally light your spliff instead. I mean, it's not a problem. Yes, I am one that mixes weed and tobacco. Ooh, curse me. I know, right? It's, it's wild. I do something so fucking out of the norm for Americans, I guess. <laughs> I didn't get it from any specific fucking person. I didn't, I didn't copy somebody. But I, I, you know, had to have a filler one day. And I was like, you know what? I smoke cigs. Fuck it, let's do a spliff, baby. And I did. And ever since then, I like them. It's okay if you don't like them, you don't have to. I do. I'm not telling you to go mix a blunt wrap with some tobacco and some weed. I don't think that would taste good. But I, when you got a paper man, if you smoke cigarettes, you some might have to roll a cigarette someday. Put some weed in that bitch. Calm your ass down. Or you the fucking Snickers. One of the two. You already know the deal. I don't keep the roaches of them either. Because who wants to have that roach, right? It's fucking weird. I mean, it's weird to just throw a roach and not think about it, but... It's got the tobacco in it. I don't know about fucking using that shit. That's, that's resonated, you know what I'm saying? Ish. Fuck shit. Yuck. Man. You already know the deal. I was doing my... I was, I, you know, I do my best to keep my opinion, I, I mean, I've been honest, I'm a biased person, but I also believe everybody's biased, I don't think anybody's not not biased, you know, I don't, I don't care if you listen to CNN or Fox News or MSNBC, the news station itself might not be biased, I'm doing quotation, biased, but the person that's re- fucking reporting the news normally got their own view on some shit, so that being said, if you don't like my view, go check out someone else, again, not my issue. But this one, this one's going to be fun because I'm just going to be spitballing this, man. So I think I, I know I did another one, but this is going to be specifically for this. That bitch, Carol Baskins. That bitch, Carol motherfucking Baskins. That bitch, Carol Baskins. That's, that, I mean, I, that's what we're going to talk about. That's what I'm going to talk about. That bitch, Carol Baskins. Not specifically that bitch, but Joe. Mr. Joe Exotic, man, seeing the memes just blow up all over and um, it just become this, man, I don't think I've ever seen a true crime documentary blow up the way Joe Exotic did. I don't know if it was the tigers, the meth, the, uh, the sex and intrigue, the gay man turning straight men gay. Uh, could have been John Finley's tattoo that's a, uh, private property of Joe Exotic right above his dick. Um, who knows what drug, who knows what sucked you in to that, to that show. But it sucked a majority of the world in to that show. It sucked that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, personal opinion is, like I said, I believe I said in, uh, the Trump versus, uh, Biden episode that I did, Joe Exotic got what he had coming to him. You play with snakes, expect to get bit. You play with snakes taped up on meth, expect to get bit twice and have them take everything from you. Now, I don't know in in my life, in my world, $3,000 to kill someone, that ain't enough. That's just, you gotta be one dumbass motherfucker to believe that that dude's gonna follow through for 3000 
Even for as dumb as that motherfucker was, man. Alan. Motherfucker ain't got no teeth. Looking like a... A generic version of Sloth, man. Just not as fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sloth from the Goonies, yeah. Coming at his face. I had another major problem with Jeff Lowe. Did they go down to find some old motherfucker and like, yo, man, put the bandana under the hat. Makes you look gangster. Makes you look like circa Eminem 2001. But you like 48. Not only that, you, you want me to buy that this man and his wife, Lauren, are going to Vegas, going to all these banging cities, and pulling pussy because of some cats? How much you want to bet that same pussy homeboy pulled was an escort? She got to play with some cats and not have to pay for it, and he got to play with some pussy and not have to pay for it. Ha! You think that that you think that that motherfucker was smashing because of them cats? Hell no, nah, man. My actual original actual original thought was that dude's not smashing shit. That man is stuck in a fucking chair in the corner. That's why he looks so fucking mad. He's sitting in a corner as his girlfriend, wife, whatever, swings with multiple bitches, and he has to sit there and probably whack at it. Or sit there and feed the cats, because he ain't he ain't maxing out on no coochie. That's facts. You can just tell he looked way too fucking mad, man. And you can just tell when Joe got involved with him in the show, man, it was not... He fucked up. Joe, I think Joe knew he fucked up. Because you, you don't... You don't barely know this motherfucker, man. He ain't got no real... Real motherfucking love for, like, the same shit you got love for. You know what I'm saying? This just was fucked up. And, and like, that's why, that's why I say, man, if you play with snakes, expect to get bit. That's, that's what I really think, man. Joe played with snakes and got bit. Well, Joe said in the end of the Tiger King, he got fucking 30 some odd names. He gonna really, he ready to talk, man. He ain't gonna shut up. Well, the Fed's got a 98% con- conviction rate. Look at Takashi69. He's out now. Oh, that shit was hilarious, too. His little fucking Instagram picture of him sitting on the mousetrap eating cheese talking about, I don't know what y'all talking about snitching on what. We've been over that one. I done spoke on it before. I ain't going to speak on it again. It's uh, it's one of the episodes in the beginning. I think it's probably like... I It's in the title. I'm pretty pretty clear about what my titles are. Anyways. He, Joe was serious about that shit. You can tell, man. Even the fact that... I mean, like everybody says. Joe done said he was going to kill that bitch Carol Baskin so many times. Man, it, fuck. Everybody and their mama knew you wanted her. Dad, your, you was, your goose was cooked before you ever shot that bitch down. That's facts. Now, yeah, they loosely tied a case to him and stuck that shit to him. But then when he had the fucking, all those animal accounts and shit come after him, that's what really got his ass hemmed up. They just used that murder for hire to open up them other doors. Do I think he'll serve the whole 22? No. I know Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump Jr. fucking brought up getting, uh, maybe getting Trump to pardon him. That shit was hilarious. I don't think that'll happen, but hey, anything is possible, man. Anything, anything is possible, but I don't think he's going to get pardoned. I think the most fucked up part is, man, that that boy, Travis, killed himself. And then Joe did mom dirty, man. How are you going to do the mom dirty? How are you going to, first off, how are you going to talk about having balls rubbed down your face? At a funeral. That's fucked up. Like, I'll be honest. Some of that shit, man, I don't know if he played that shit out for the camera, this, that, the other. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, if that was one of my homies' funerals, bro, I'm going to light that motherfucker up. I don't give a fuck. That's some pure disrespectful shit. And then you invite homeboy's mom, Travis's mom, to the new wedding. And that's the last time you talked to her. Man, that's supposed to be your mother-in-law. You never give a fuck. You just, wanted to, you just wanted to have some young men hang on your arms. That's why that motherfucker John is missing all of his teeth. He got them fixed now if you go on David Spade's podcast and you see it. He got them joints fixed now. But that motherfucker was jacked. He had meth, 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 meth mouth. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It's just fucked up. But hey, man, 
If you ain't seen Tiger King, you gotta check that bitch out. Even even if even if you don't like murder, mayhem, and mystery and all that shit, there's so, there's so many people taking on to that shit now. It's insane. It's definitely something I think anybody named Mama should check out. I think it's funny. Maybe not anybody named Mama, because some of that shit people might not like too much. Let's be let's be one hundred. Some moms might not like that shit. You know, some dads might not. Definitely ain't kid friendly. Um. Murky Lee's made a song uh, about it. Uh, Carol Baskin killed her husband, I think is the name of the song. Um, oh my gosh, oh, Omar Gosh TV on YouTube. He went and down to Big Cat Rescue in Tampa or whatever trying to talk to Don Lewis. I didn't get really through the whole episode of uh, that. He's like a paranormal thing. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, hella interviews from David Spade. Hella comedians like Andrew Schwartzman. I talked about that on the other one. They interviewed a couple people. He interviewed Doc Antle. Definitely some shit y'all should check out. Uh, it's funny as fuck. It definitely, uh, it definitely an intriguing show. Uh, everybody, I think, has their own opinion. I think, like I said, I think Joe got what he had coming to him. I think, like uh, Ranky said at the end, the FBI said they weren't done yet, this, that, the other. And, you know, I think when they make statements like that, I don't think they fucking lying. They're not the local police that hate your bitch ass. So, it is what it is. You already know. Um... And I think that is what it is for the show. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. It was definitely something I enjoyed. I enjoyed watching the show itself. Uh, I definitely hate that bitch, Carol Baskins. Fucking Carol Baskins. Fucking Carol goddamn Baskins. <laughs>